Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, back with another Magic the Gathering deck tech. Um, we're going to do my brother's Demir Dementia deck today. It's a Gate Crash deck. Um, you can buy it from Gate Crash's pack. It's called Demir Dementia, mainly based on milling your deck, your opponent's deck. So here we go. For the land of the deck, we are going to have seven blue mana in the deck. Right there. Okay, seven blue. We're going to have ten black mana in the deck to help out with summoning creatures and everything, like your spells, your summoning of your creatures, everything like that, of course. And then we have four Demir Guild Gates in this deck. They enter the battlefield tapped and add blue or black mana to your pool. We have four of those. Those are useful. We have three... Very expensive cards. Watery Graves, which add blue or black mana to your pool. And as they enter the battlefield, you can pay two life. If you do not, it enters the battlefield tapped. Three of those. And then we have one Shimmering Grotto. Adds one colorless mana to your pool. If you tap one colorless and then this mana, you can add one color of any to your pool. One mana color of any to your pool, yeah. Now we're going to get into the creatures of the deck. There's a lot of them. Um, we have one Jasus Phantasm. It's a one blue drop. Flying. It gets a plus four, plus four as long as the opponent has ten or more cards in his or her graveyard. It's a one one from the start. As long as there's ten or more cards, it gets a five five with flying. That's that. We have two Dusk Mantle Guild Mages. These are two drop, one black, one blue. Whenever an opponent, whenever a card is, <clears throat> whenever a card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere this turn, that player loses one life. They tap one black, one blue, and one colorless. If you tap one black, one blue, and two colorless, target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, and it's a two-two. We have three, and I've been saying these wrong for a long time. White of Precent six. White of Precent 6 gets a plus 1, plus 1 for each creature card in your opponent's graveyards. It's a 1-1, one, one, and a 2-drop, 1 black, 1 colorless. So those are very good cards. We have 3 Death Cult Rogues. 1 black or blue, or 2 black or blue, and 1 colorless. Death, Ro Death Cult Rogue can be blocked, cannot be blocked except by other rogues. And it is a 2-2. Two, two. Those are really good. We have four Balustrade Spy. Um, four drop, one black, three colorless, flying. When it enters the battlefield, target player reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals a land card, then puts those into his or her graveyard, and it is a 2-3 with flying. And a four draw. Those are good. We have one Evil Twin. This is a good card to wipe out a big creature and get a good big creature. Um, four drop, one black, one blue, two colorless. You can have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it gains one tap one black and one blue, and this card destroy a target creature with the same name as this creature. So you can take control of your opponent's card, destroy it with this card, pretty much, without having to attack and lose your card as well. There you go. We have two Return Centaurs. These are one black, three colorless, four drop mana. Whenever it enters the battlefield, target player puts the top four cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, and it's a 2-4. So that's that. We have one Vekdalen Vedalkin Entrancer. One blue, three colorless. Tap one blue and two color and this card. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, and it is a 1-4. I hate these cards. Then again, I love them at the same time. Three Consuming Aberrations. One black, one blue, three colorless. Consuming Aberrations, power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your opponent's graveyards. Whenever you cast a spell, each opponent reveals cards from the top of his or her library, then puts those cards until he or she reveals a land card, then puts those cards into his graveyard. Or her graveyard. 
those are powerful as hell for this deck. Mind Eye Drake is another card we have. One blue, four colorless, so a five draw. Flying, when it enters the battle, when it dies, target player puts the top five cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, and it's a two five. This is another really painful card. A five drop, one black, one blue, and three colorless. Flying, when it deals combat damage to your health points to a player, that player reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals four land cards, then puts those into his or her graveyard. A 2-4. We have two Maze Gliders. One blue, five colorless creature, flying, multicolored creatures you control gain flying. So it's a six drop, and it's a 3-5, which is completely destructive, considering Consuming Apparition is a multicolored card. Now these are going to be a little bit weirder. And we only use it for the one part of the card. Breaking. One blue and one black. Target player puts the top eight cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. And there's three of them. We use them for the only breaking. This is... Chorus said Confession. Five drop, one blue or black, and four colorless. Target player puts the top four cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. You draw a card for each creature card you put into the graveyard this way. We have three mind grind. These are pretty, pretty freaking brutal. Uh, one blue and one black, and X amount of mana. Each opponent reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals X land cards. Then puts all cards revealed this way into his or her graveyard. X cannot be zero. So you have to at least tap one mana, or two mana, or three mana. And then they have to find that many land cards and put all those cards into the graveyard. He has four Tomb Scours. These are all the sorceries about to be done. One blue. Target player puts the top... Five cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Four of those, as you guys can see. Four. Four. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I did not know he had four. Um, he has four cremate, which I did know these. But um, one black, drop, instant, exile target card from a graveyard, and draw a card. So they can't come back, pretty much. He has... Four Grizzly Spectacles. Four draw. Two black and two colorless. Destroy target non-artifact creature. Its controller puts a number of cards equal to that creature's power from the top of his or her library into his or her graveyard. That's a good card. We have four Psychic Strikes. As you guys can see. Huzzah. One blue, one black, and one colorless. Counter target spell. Its controller puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. I am sorry about that. That was horrible. We're going to get into artifacts of the deck now. We have three Codex Shredders. One drop colorless. Target player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard when tapped. You can tap five colorless. Tap this card. Sacrifice it. Return a target card from your graveyard to your hand. So those are pretty good. Three of those. We have one millstone. Two colorless. Um, you tap two colorless in this card. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. We have an enchantment. One enchantment. One blue. Two colorless. Enchant player. The beginning of an enchanted player's upkeep. That player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. So that's deadly. And then we have one more. Two blue, three colorless, um, Planeswalker, Jace's Memory Adept, plus one health, draw a card, target player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard, zero, um, target player puts the top ten cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, minus seven of the health, any number of target players each draw twenty cards, and it's a four health in the beginning. That is his entire Demir deck. It is black-blue, 
we did make adjustments, lots of adjustments. But even if you buy the deck in the intro pack, it's pretty freaking good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. This is Pac-Man Trolls signing off of YouTube. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.